Look at this. This is what's causing the thousands, tens of thousands of power outages across the state of Louisiana right now. This, uh, <laughs> this is in cutoff and wow. it's just incredible. I saw this on Facebook. Um, Travis Gisler, uh posted this on his Facebook site and said that we could use it. Just incredible. That is a tree. He, he you know, jokingly said in his comments, like, my tree just took out the power for the neighborhood. Uh, but, but that's that, probably what happened. That is exactly what happened. You can see it pop and then, you know, power's out. Yeah. Uh, fire goes out because then it's it's not energized anymore. But you know, I'm assuming we're, we've seen similar situations like this all over, which is why we have those extensive numbers. Let's see. Let's see how many customers we're down to right now. Uh, if we take a look at this energy map, we can look by parish by parish. And if we look statewide, wow, we're now up to 185,000 plus customers. I without just power. refreshed. We're up over 190,000 now. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so minute by minute, th these numbers keep going up and up and up again because of that huge arc that's over our area. Look at this map. There's still a lot of green at the top, and you can basically see the path that this hurricane has made uh, as it's traveled up Louisiana. I mean, it, it goes right with the track that it's come on shore, um, you know, through Lafouche and Terrebonne parishes. Uh, those areas obviously feeling the brunt of the hurricane when it was a category two storm. I mean, it is unbelievable to think, you know, we get uh, concerned about any sort of storm as it forms in the Gulf, but mm -hmm. normally we're most concerned about those major hurricanes and this is a category two storm and it's doing extensive damage. Yeah, when you're looking parish by parish, of course, those parishes that got hit first are mm -hmm. fully out, but they are not yes. as populous as Jefferson and Orleans parishes. Mm -hmm. So already in Jefferson Parish, we have almost 42,000 people without power. In Orleans, we have more than 29,000 people without power. Mm -hmm. And we know that those numbers will increase. They will definitely increase.